In our culture, there are plenty of TV shows that we grow up with that are near and dear to our hearts. These shows provided us with many laughs, characters, and memorable moments that will be fondly remembered by the culture. Two shows that fit this description for the black community would be the UPN hit show Moesha and the spinoff show The Parkers. Both of these shows presented relatable representation for black families and touch on very common behaviors and dynamics that happen in the community. Another thing these two shows have in common is the casting of comedian and actress Yvette Wilson. Yvette Wilson starred in both Moesha and The Parkers as the character and Vandell Wickerson, and this is the role for which she is most famous for. The character of Vandell is shown more prominently in The Parkers as the best friend of main character Nikki Parker, portrayed by comedian and actress Monique. Vandell represents the level-headed voice of reason for many of the schemes Nikki creates in the show and is often treated as the smartest person in the friend group. Yvette also had memorable roles in the cult classic films Friday, House Party 3, Poetic Justice, and Don't Be a Menace, along with appearances on the legendary comedy platform Def Comedy Jam. Yvette's natural fit with her characters along with her talent and the popularity of some of her works ensures that Yvette Wilson will remain unforgotten. Yvette Renee Wilson was born on March 6, 1964 in Los Angeles, California as the youngest of three. Not much is known about her family upbringing as those details are fairly private, but her mother Thelma has said Yvette was always an independent child who loved to give to others. She further stated Yvette would even bring kids home from school and ask if they could live with her family because they wouldn't have enough food. Initially, Yvette pursued a career in communications when she attended San Jose University. In 1991, she made a note appearance on the hit game show Supermarket Sweep. In hindsight, this could be seen as an instrumental moment in Yvette's career as it was the first time she was on TV for an audience. As she kept going in her career search, she stumbled upon an opportunity to get into comedy. According to multiple sources, Yvette's entertainment career began on a lost bet to a friend. As the penalty for losing the bet, Yvette had to get on stage and perform comedy at a club owned by the friend. After this moment, she wouldn't look back and began to officially pursue a career as an entertainer. Yvette's natural charm and charisma seemed to be working for her as the entertainment opportunities began to come starting in 1992. Her first credited character role came in a minor part in a classic sketch comedy series In Living Color in which she appeared in two episodes. The minimal appearances still provided her with enough visibility so that she would be in the minds of casting directors and producers for future projects. The following year also proved to be a good year for Wilson as she began getting real traction in her acting career. She appeared in the 1993 film Poetic Justice starring Janet Jackson and Tupac Shakur. The film became a worldwide success, grossing millions at the box office and received good reviews. Her next noteworthy gig would come in the short-lived sitcom Thea. The show was centered around the fictionalized life of real-life comedian Thea Vidal as a widowed single mother of four. Yvette was cast as Lynette, the younger sister of Thea. Interesting enough, the series foreshadowed Wilson working with Brandy as she also starred in the series. In Thea, Wilson portrayed Brandy's aunt. Thea initially had high ratings, but experienced a significant decline in viewership towards the end of season one, resulting in the show's cancellation after only airing 19 episodes. Despite this, Wilson's performance on the show was excellent enough to keep her in the minds of Hollywood producers for years to come, as evidenced by her roles in House Party 3, Blank Man, and Friday. In Friday, Wilson portrayed Rita. Rita was the best friend of another character and provided the character of Smokey with a blind night. Smokey is hilariously caught off guard by Rita's weight and bald hairstyle, providing some of the funnier and more memorable moments from the film. That next year, in 1996, Yvette would land the biggest role of her career as Andale Wickerson in the show Moesha. Yvette's character was the owner of the local nightclub the other main characters would always visit. Unlike her previous show, Thea, Moesha proved to be a critical and commercial success and would ultimately run for 127 episodes. Since its initial airing, Moesha has been touted as one of the best shows in the history of UPN. This role solidified Yvette's place in entertainment and gave her a signature character, an attribute many actors aspire to get. That same year, 1996, she would get a role in the Wayans Brothers film, Don't Be a Menace to South Central While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood. During the initial run of Moesha, the show's success spawned a spinoff show, 
the Parkers. Yvette Wilson's character of Andel would make the new spinoff, where the character was given a significant amount of screen time and importance to the stories. As previously stated, this role is a signature role of Yvette Wilson and the one she is most famous for. The Parkers began airing in 1999 and ran all the way through 2004. Yvette's character was a part of the core main cast of characters along with Monique, Countess Vaughn, and Dorian Wilson. The character of Andale was the best friend of main character Nikki Parker, played by Monique, and provided a level-headedness perspective anytime Nikki had an outlandish idea to get the attention of her major crush, Professor Ogilvy, who was played by Dorian Wilson. The show gave Yvette the biggest platform she had had up to date to showcase her comedic and acting talent, and she is consistently remembered as a favorite character of many fans of the show. Initially, the show was criticized for allegedly having outrageous characters, but high ratings ensured that the show stayed on the air. According to Wikipedia, the Parker's initial season catapulted it to being the number one comedy on UPN at the time and the most popular show, beating out The Steve Harvey Show. The unprecedented success of the Parkers officially established Yvette Wilson as a household name in the community and elevated her to another level of status in Black Hollywood. During the time her professional career was going well, her personal life seemed to be coming together as well. In 2001, she married music producer Jerome Harry. Now many details are known about Yvette's marriage to Jerome as they have been able to remain extremely private about their marriage and family. The Parkers would go on to last for 5 seasons airing 110 episodes. Now, when it came for the series to come to an end, Wilson participated in a Jet Magazine profile piece celebrating the series finale. In regards to the series ending, Wilson said, I have mixed emotions. The biggest thing is I am losing my extended family. God puts people in your life for a special reason. Monique and I are very, very close. As most people know, we are constantly knocking on each other's doors when we come in and talking about our kids and what happened over the weekend. I would definitely miss that. After the Parkers ended in 2004, it seemed work significantly slowed down for Yvette as she was rarely seen on television or film. Her last noted film appearance and acting role came in the 2005 film Ganked. As her career began to slow down, that's when Yvette's health began to challenge her. Yvette suffered from chronic kidney disease, a condition which eventually led to her developing cervical cancer. In an effort to help her beat her condition, a close friend of Yvette's name, Jeffrey Piddle, implored a fundraising technique to help cover the cost of her health expenses that weren't paid for by her insurance. For the next few years, Wilson would continue to battle health problems related to her cancer diagnosis. Sadly, Yvette Wilson passed away on June 14, 2012 at the young age of 48. Upon the news of her death, there were plenty of condolences and grief from fellow entertainers. Actress Countess Vaughn, who played Kim Parker on The Parkers, expressed her feelings in a social media post dedicated to Wilson with the caption, R.I.P. Two Angels That Watch Over Us. Her Moesha co-star Shar Jackson also expressed extreme sadness over the passing of Wilson in a social media post, F cancer. Oh God, my heart is so unbelievably broken. I want to thank all my Tweeties for their prayers, but God has chosen to take my sister Yvette home. Yvette received an outpouring of love and condolences from audiences as well as many fondly remembered her role of Andel. Yvette's funeral service were described as celebratory instead of somber by the attendees. Yvette apparently had wishes for how she wanted her funeral to be celebrated and her family did their best to honor her wishes. Her mother Thelma said the following to the Mississippi Link news station, Yvette prepared us for this. She left specific instructions that she did not want a funeral, she did not want sadness, she wanted a party. McDonald, a Mississippi native said, she said, I don't want people crying, I want them to celebrate. According to an article covering her funeral services by the Mississippi Link, over 300 people attended Yvette's funeral in celebratory style, fulfilling Yvette's wishes. The term used for the event was even changed to memorial party instead of funeral. Many notable actors and actresses were in attendance and a few gave speeches. Among those were Mark Curry, Dorian Wilson, Brandy, and Ray J. Yvette was a big advocate of her faith and frequently attended church. She attended until she could not. Then she would watch the services on television. Her mother explained she never complained about her illness. She remained hopeful. She still wanted to help people. Her friends had to beg her permission to set up that fund on her behalf. They told her, you are always helping others. Let people help you know. That was the only way she gave into them. Yvette was also very big on family, as her mother said she loved the family gatherings in Mississippi. She had just told me about three weeks before she died. I'm going to the family reunion with you, mama. 
Yvette Wilson is a wonderful comedic talent who provided us with many laughs anytime she appeared on our TV screens. From sharing the screen with stars like Chris Tucker, Janet Jackson, and Brandy, she showed great consistency and dedication to her craft and had much success in her career, which is why she will remain unforgotten.